I changed my mind. I decided to drill a hole on the bottom of the PTU unit because uh, the width or the material which is on this cover, the thickness of the material, I didn't like it. It's not thick enough. That's why I decided to drill the hole like many other guys did already on the bottom of the PTU. Just because if you imagine this material is thick and the cover is a few mils less, I believe it's a bad idea to use the thicker material somewhere in this area. So I have to stay away from this reinforcement. This is kind of like a berm. I have to be in this flat area here. The drain plug I have has a 22 mil nut or it's a 22 mil socket. So I have to grind it off and get it to the size which actually will flush with this area here. A lot of fun. I'm not gonna buy another one. I'm gonna use what I have. As you see this is pretty big. So I have to make it smaller. So now I made it 15 instead of 22 and this will fit way better in here. And um, I like to drill the hole between those two gears here. Another measurement will be between this area and the first tooth of this gear. It's about 33 millimeters. Now you have this wave. So this kind of like a shape, I have to stay away from it. I have this homemade drain plug now. So I'm gonna put it away from that wave and I'm gonna mark the middle in here. And then I will measure how far my middle is from the one side of the hole. And it is 23 points something millimeter 23 24 so let's say 24 it's from this side of the hole so on the right hand side so 24 mil when you look 24 mil is here it will be just perfect spot for for the drain plug if you want to use a um, classic drain plug m14 afterwards not the one i using then uh, probably you should stay a little bit closer in this area but if it's if the drain plug will not be long then you can stay anywhere on that surface here i'm gonna use this set for repairing damaged threads on oil pans which uh, comes with those kind of inserts as you see the thread is perfect and 14 times one and a half so i'm gonna install threaded insert into the ptu and then i'm gonna use loctite 242 which came with uh, this drain plug to install it inside of that threaded insert and your drain plug is here I just want to say something about this set. It's uh, for stripped thread of the oil pan where uh, the repair is needed and you cannot uh, make a proper seal. So what you're gonna do, you can insert this piece into the original, original hole, how it works. I'm gonna use a couple drill bits to get to the size of this big fella here this is 15 millimeter drill bit then you use this adapter which actually has couple teeth in here on the left side to uh, make a little bit of a groove on those first millimeters of the hole you just did then you make a, a nice thread this is actually m16 and it's uh, suited for those thread threaded inserts like i showed you here once the thread is made you choose the length because they, they it comes with two different lengths right in my case it's gonna be the shorter one the four ptu it's not uh, that deep and one side of it has a ring this ring will be flush with your ptu unit because you just made the little groove with this tool and to install this thread using another tool here which is screw in there like this 
you just screw the whole thing into the body of the oil pan, PTU unit, whatever it is. Once this is installed, you can use those inner threads for your drain plug. Because of this 15 mil drill bit has a square end, so I'm gonna use 5 8 socket, the square to square, and then 6 inch extension, half inch extension. This is gonna be done by hand. So back and forth, back and forth. Turning my hand so the hole is done. So it's time to make the thread. It's gonna be almost the same setup, but this one is square too, but just a little bit smaller. This is a 3/8 size, so I'm gonna use 3/8 socket, and the size of it is 5/8. So it's gonna go square to square. This 5/8 is gonna go on half inch extension. We're making threads into aluminum, so it's not a big deal. It should go on the first time. But I'm careful here anyway. So now I will screw it by hand. I clean this with a compressed air. I'm gonna run it through those threads again. And it goes there very easy. Just to make sure before I insert that uh, special sleeve. So now from the inside, we go here on the bottom to the outside. I'm gonna use this extension, this tool, and this is designed to smooth the first couple mils of this rough opening. Kind of like a thread sleeve we're gonna install will fit there flush. I'll try to show you with one hand operation how it works. You insert the tool in the hole and once you start turning it, you have to apply some pressure, of course. Those teeth you'll see on the side will cut the little groove in, into the body of the PTU. Because it's hard to do it with one hand, I'll do it without a camera, then I'll show you how it looks like. This is how it looks like after I use the tool. Now it's time to make sure those threads are still Nice and clean. If you drill the hole from the bottom or anywhere, at the end of the day you will leave this much of aluminum debris inside of your PTUs. Probably all that steel gears can chew up this aluminum, but uh, just to be aware that uh, this kind of like a mess will be in your I measured how thick is the material on the bottom of the PTU and it is 14 millimeters well if I if I use this short uh, thread sleeve I'll be perfectly fine because it's just a little bit shorter so it will not stick out of the pan from the inside so the next step I need to install this on one side it has a little like a ring so that's the bottom side or the outside the other side which doesn't have the ring goes inside of to the pan and you install it with uh, this extension it's again 3 8 square on uh, the other end you wanna chase a couple of insert copper threads and this way you're gonna just start turning it in and I will apply JB weld extreme heat paste on the outside of these threads 
it should withstand pretty extreme temperatures up to 2400 Fahrenheit or 1300 Celsius centigrade Celsius. I degrease it uh, with acetone and I blast it with a pressurized air and don't get anything to the inside threads obviously. So I clean this hole on the PTU as well with acetone and compressed air. Now it's time to install this leaf. Start by hand. I have a couple threads already in there. And then I'm going to use my special extension here to finish this process. Very gentle on it. It's there. Remove this drive. The paste has been pushed out. So I'm gonna just go around it. Let's double check how it looks like from the inside. So as you see, the thread sleeve is way below the surface of the PTU. I apply the thread locker on this special drain plug. I'm gonna install it in there. And it's a 15 mil head. So I will tighten it up slightly by the hand. Okay, it's pretty tight. I'm gonna apply the paste around it. And then I ran this long screw through the drain pack here to the top, just like this. And I fill this part with the paste as well. And I run it back and forth, back and forth, so I fill the paste a little bit, run it again to make sure the paste is not in those threads. Not too bad. So we'll see. I will let it sit for an hour at least with my heater on a little bit because uh, it should cure, cure up uh, within an hour in a plus 10 degree Celsius temperatures. Now, so I'm gonna turn my heat on, let it run for an hour at least, uh, just underneath this uh, drain plug. This is how it looks like from the bottom. I will sand the paste a little bit so it looks a little better, a little smoother. And when we go to the top, it is like this. When I screw this bolt all the way in there, which I just did in the meantime, still sits below the surface of the PTU, so there is no chance something will touch the gears in the PTU with this bolt all the way in there. 